so i live in a, a very remote location here everything is good except the internet but you need internet to connect to the world so for that i have tried couple of things which i'm sharing here the one of them the uh, uh, the earlier one was uh, using two uh, lpda antennas uh, connected to a 4g lte router uh, this cost me around uh, uh, 8000 and 9000 indian rupees uh, which is not so difficult to uh, do it but uh, to a common is quite tough so uh, this is how the lpda antennas look uh, they cost you around uh, 600 to 800 rupees per piece and there is a lmr uh, 400 cable which is around uh, uh, 40 rupees per meter sub so used around uh, uh, 15 meter each the you need uh, two antennas and two cable because the router has two uh, external antenna slots and the cable you connect it very easily just remove your uh, old antenna from the router and you use this uh, cable to connect the external antenna so this is how the uh, connection looks uh, and uh, it's uh, it's not so tough to uh, mount it so you just take any pole uh, mount your antennas on the pole and connect the uh, cable one end of the cable to the uh, antenna and other end to your router uh, there are many ways to uh, set this antennas uh, i've tried 45 degree uh, angle between them and it was working good so you can try whatever uh, uh, you know works better for you and you have all the clamps and uh, 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 accessories i mean it's easily available in any hardware shop i've used uh, uh, two gi pipes 1 inch diameter and 1.5 inch diameter uh, which connected via reducer in between and uh, this one i placed over a tree and because it's on 40 foot tall you need to support it at the top because during the storm and then heavy wind so this may fall off so i've used three wires Uh, to hold them in place uh, yeah uh, this is uh, this is the tree where i mounted this uh, setup so as i said i used three wires to hold it in place and it's it has survived uh, two or three uh, rainy seasons but the speed was not so good in that setup so then i moved to second configuration which is actually i recommend everyone this is basically a, a microtech sxt microtech is a latvian based company which manufactures lot of uh, uh lt and antenna products so this one is the 4g lt modem so this doesn't need any additional antenna because the modem itself has a very powerful antenna uh and its direction is also pretty good so i mounted this device over a pole and i mounted uh, the pole and the device over a, uh, a tree palm tree next to me so uh, the device as i said is pretty simple it's an uh, uh, 4g lt modem Uh, and it has a uh, something called the uh, poe injector means you can actually power the device using a lan cable uh, and it's very helpful because you can lan cable has a very lower uh, uh, signal drop compared to lmr uh, uh, 400 cable so as i said it's uh, uh, very simple uh, initially what you do need to do is like you need to do a grounding connection uh, because that will protect the device in you know uh, in terms of lightning or any electric surge or any other problem which usually happens to electronic devices so there is a, a grounding connection uh, it has a screw there you remove it and you connect uh, any uh, any copper wire and the uh, one end you mount it to the board and other end you connect to the uh, uh, pole outside where you are mounting it because uh, that's how the grounding happens and it has two sim slots uh, it acts as 4g lte sims i have put uh, two sims there and after you uh, put the sim and everything Uh, you you have that mounting uh, 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 plate there the you mount the mounting plate onto a pole uh, as i said here i'm using an uh, gi pipe uh, which is pretty strong so i mounted onto a gi pipe you can mount to a pvc pipe or a wooden pipe also whatever is available uh, at your disposal after you mount in the uh, clamp you mount the uh, uh, device as shown here and uh, now you remove that uh, opening so make sure this always in the bottom faced one and you connect the lan cable there so it's as simple as that so basically lan cable is connected at the uh, lan port and the uh, grounding wire is connected to the pole this is uh, it's pretty easy and uh, it may sound complicated but it's very easy so other end of the lan cable here is the uh, thing so it comes with an poe splitter at one point you connect the uh, power and the other one you connect to your laptop 
because power uh, to the device goes from this uh, uh, PO injector itself. So you adjust the direction where the signal is good and tada. So you are done. And once uh, the direction of the antenna is perfect, you tighten the uh, clamp so that it won't, uh, you know, uh, oxalate. So here what I have done is, uh, uh, I have mounted onto a pole and the placed enter uh, setup over a palm tree. And from the palm tree, I have uh, used around uh, uh, 300 uh, uh, meter uh, land cable because my house is quite far from the tree. The tree is also quite taller one. So this how the uh, LAN cable runs, make sure it is a CAT6 LAN cable. So that is the palm tree above which there is an SXT device and from there uh, I am taking the uh, LAN cable out. So this LAN cable has survived uh, two, three rainy seasons. From here uh, I have connected to the, uh, as I said that is a splitter comes. To the splitter I have connected the power unit also, like just see it is pretty easy. So power comes at one end and the uh, LAN cable goes to the router. So I have already had one old uh, uh, TP-Link router lying in my home. So instead of connecting directly to the laptop, I have connected to this uh, uh, TP-Link router so that my smart TV and uh, my smartphones and all the family members can connect their devices to the uh, internet. So uh, any uh, you know Wi-Fi router will work for this. So setting up the Wi-Fi router is, is another thing but uh, I am sure you must be knowing it. So yeah, I mean I am running it on the UPS also because I have an uh, you know UPS system so I can run this internet 24 bus away. So it has survived almost an year, which heavy lightnings and rainfall everything but during lightnings I will remove the uh, connections and also set it up in uh, other sources also. So uh, this device uses uh, uh, 192.168.88.1 that is the default IP address. Uh, using that IP address you can connect to, uh, you can access this router. This are called something something as a, a router OS I guess. So yeah you can change this uh, uh, IP address afterwards. So once you uh, get in uh, you can actually have a, a, a lot of ways to configure your router. So one of them I like the most I and mean, the thing I like the most was the selecting the band. So here I have selected band 40 by default uh, the device is connected on band 8. So uh, the thing is in band 8 my internet was not so good, so speed was good. So then I uh, selected to uh, band 40 where I am getting a very good uh, internet speed and it is very stable. I am running zoom calls, Netflix and even 3-4 uh, uh, smartphones and then 3-4 other devices everything is working so good and there is absolutely no issue so far so uh, this this uh, a band selection wasn't possible in my uh, TP-Link router which is 4G LTE router which I said earlier though I have installed another beta version where I was doing this band selection but the speed wasn't good uh, it was around uh, less than 10 Mbps in my the first configuration whereas here uh, the signal to noise ratio uh, which is actually way way better than uh, that uh, 4G LTE router configuration. So there are the my signal ratio signal to noise ratio is always in minus where here I am getting around 12 to 16 dB um, which is actually uh, uh, very good for a uh, uh, you know uh, location where I am living. I must say before this there was absolutely no signal i never had even a point single point of signal in my phone but with this device i can actually have a i mean as i said earlier i watch netflix here with full i mean full hd streaming yeah sometimes 4k uh, is i mean i never tried 4k because i don't have a device which is capable of streaming a uh, 4k so let's check the speed uh, uh, how, how it works i'm using a layman uh, vf testing which is speed test uh, I mean low class speed test. Uh, let's see how much speed I get. So ping is not bad. I mean to the location where I am living is very good. Uh, yeah, download speed I am getting here. I mean when I set it up around 27, 28 I was getting but uh, now I mean after this video I actually uh, adjusted the direction. I am getting around 35 to 38 Mbps. Mm, yeah, I mean uh, to the western world this is nothing but in India that too uh, in a location where I am living it's uh, it's a boon. 
so i paid around uh, 10000 uh, for the uh, sx device and around 900 bucks for the uh, uh, cable and uh, that's it and the wifi route is around say 1000 rupees so within 12000 uh, i was getting uh, i mean i could get uh, something which i never even imagined so it's a very good investment please go ahead and uh, you will be happy with your decision thank you